I wish the Gina could... gears up for the day. Across the city, teenage girls are taking a risk and defying the Taliban. Here in the capital, some secondary schools have stayed open in secret, despite a ban imposed on girls' education above sixth grade. That's age 12. Every weekday, 230 teenage girls dare to make the journey to this school for a few hours of daily classes. We came here always with afraid, with uh, fear that how well we today that we most of the times we are afraid in, in the, on the street, on the road, but I don't want to be illiterate. I have a lot of dreams and I have a lot of hopes. I don't want to uh, sit at home uh, because uh, sitting at home is uh, wasting the time. After their chemistry class, these 15 and 16 year olds told us that in fact they feel more motivated to learn and play a part in public life because of the ban and their newfound defiance. I want to be an economist because nowadays I see our people need to a uh, good economy and our, the economies become weak. I want to do politics. After coming to Taliban, I become uh, more brave than before. I, now I'm more proud about myself as an Afghan girl. Since the school is illegal, these girls won't graduate with qualifications and so won't, as things stand, be able to go on to university. It's been nearly a year since the Taliban said they were suspending girls' high schools temporarily, but they U-turned on plans to restart classes this spring. That's why this school's head teacher is risking his freedom to keep his classrooms open. We don't have any power at all. They could throw me in prison. We've been waiting for one year now. What we're doing, it's like a soldier who only has one bullet left and who's using his very last reserves for the hope of a brighter future. Despite international pressure, schools for older girls are only open in a handful of Afghanistan's 34 provinces. For the vast majority, their education lies only in the hands of determined activists, taking risks for a generation of Afghan girls.